Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my 100 baby challenge in The Sims 4. Today you guys we are actually going to be starting off with a little time lapse. It's going to take about 12 minutes. I'm going to be with you guys this whole time having a little chat, having a little catch up. There's a loud car going past my house. We love that. And it's just essentially me building a little granny flat in the backyard. So let's go ahead and I'll pop a timestamp down at the bottom of the screen somewhere for when the actual gameplay starts for anybody that is interested. But as I was just about to say, without further ado, let's get into the speed build. So essentially I opened up the game and I was like, you know, how are we going to do this whole like rental situation for Venus and Zane? And you know, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I just was kind of playing with things in the backyard sort of area here. Things, by the way, are also very not even, I noticed while I was doing this and that was frustrating. But look, <laughs> right here, I've just decided, you know, we don't ever use this outside kitchen. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that. And that was a nuisance because my game was being very laggy, very slow. But we eventually got rid of the whole entire lot and also I do have to let you guys know that there's a, the, the reason, sorry, that this isn't going to be a video by itself separate from the series is mostly just because well for one this was like an hour long build and I condensed it down to like 12 minutes but also because I didn't technically finish it wasn't like a full-on build from very start to very finish so that is basically my my excuse it's my excuse there's no way around it I'm not gonna say it's the reason it's an excuse <laughs> But yeah, so that's uh, that's why that is like that. And I really need to cough, but I don't want to cough because I don't want to edit this little intro thing. It's fine. Maybe I'll just cut that little part out. So I was I was going best off of a floor plan of a random granny flat that I found online. If I can find it, I'll pop it up on the screen. And right here, I'm just kind of figuring out how we're going to have access to it and all that kind of good fun stuff. And also before I even did this, I... Um, I was going, I actually just renovated one of the other bedrooms to, not renovated, but like <laughs> I rearranged one of the other bedrooms to be Venus's bedroom and I was going to have her rent that like I was mentioning in one of the previous episodes, but obviously we decided to go against that. So <laughs> there's also that, but yeah, I just, I don't know, it just, it seemed like a lot and I didn't want like part of the house to be missing. I don't know, just... I, I don't even know how to explain my process here. I really don't. But a granny flat seems to be a really good option. I know that we need more money in the first place in order for this to like realistically work out. And also, wait, where are my notes? Because I did write down a couple of things that I wanted to mention to you guys. So the first thing is granny flat. Obviously, we're doing the the little speed, build speed renovation right now. The next thing was that I've already mentioned before, but nightly we'll need to become a young adult before we can move Zane into the house to be able to turn him back into a human, like a real life human, because obviously he's like a ghost right now, so that we can get Venus and Zane married. And then once they are married, we're going to be moving them into the granny flat. So that's something that I definitely want to work towards. I kind of like every episode, I'm like, oh my gosh, is it going to be the wedding episode? But it's just, it's just not going to be. <laughs> it's just... It's just not going to be. Uh, we really do need to get nightly aged up before any of that can happen. And then I've just got notes for uh, thumbnails, essentially, like what poses I want to use for thumbnails. So we love that. I, I love this book. My nan actually gave me this book for Christmas a couple of years ago. It says it's going to be great. And I literally use this like I'm about halfway through the notebook now. I use this for youtube notes obviously well not even just youtube this is like just for ruby red instead for my other channel spiritual amethyst i literally have like a hundred notepads going at once it's it's so silly like my my brain is just bleh, all over the place uh i have little like bits of pa paper just kind of like strewn around the place also my office is a mess i need to figure that out also I don't I couldn't be bothered talking about what we're doing here until we really start furnishing so I'm going to show you guys some little Kebe Ushis that I've got this one is so stinking cute it's still covered in bath bomb dust so maybe we'll ignore that one for now these ones always sit right in front of my webcam they're my cutest two shades of purple so sweet I love them I love them and then the last one that's also still covered in bath bomb dust is this one here 
oh they're really like not focusing great so <laughs> we love that and I do have a new little friendo on the side of the microphone I don't know if that's really gonna show actually I'll probably do some editing to make it show in the little window I hope that didn't make too much noise playing around with that sitting on the microphone but yeah so they are there and I don't know why but I want to show you guys my little palm pal he's so stinking cute it's a little bat actually I say he but its name's Luna so I'm assuming it's a girl okay anyway that's that's enough sidetracking I know that was only like a minute but that's enough sidetracking so essentially I was just grabbing everything from Venus's bedroom and ripping it over into the granny flat so that was the bedroom that I said that I renovated but uh rearranged before so that's what we're doing here and uh I do plan on going in and upgrading everything and just like making sure that we maintain things and all that kind of good fun stuff it's going to be a lot but I will also try to do that sort of stuff like off camera if I can if I can get away with that I know that this is like a lot of back and forth at the moment but I promise it gets less crazy in a second I can hear somebody's banging outside and that's really annoying <laughs> I don't know what they're banging on but I can hear it and it's really rude so obviously making everything pink because I had previously made things blue in the house for oh my gosh for Audrina totally just nearly forgot her name so of course once we actually get into the gameplay as well I'll show you guys fluff there's fluff flying around everywhere I'll show you guys Audrina's new bedroom it's essentially the same as what Venus's was but blue instead obviously also I know that it shows that there's a bed in the granny flat but because uh, that's actually Venus's bed that she's been like assigned to what I've done actually uh, just before we filmed this was I put her actual bed back into that bedroom so that bedroom now in the house has just Venus's bed in it and then there's another bed now in the granny flat but when uh, we'll obviously assign that new one to Venus when we move her in there so that is all fine it's just because she's not living in the granny flat just yet so she kind of needs a place to like sleep <laughs> before that happens before she gets married and moves out before Knightley becomes a young adult and then she gets married and moves out and I am hoping to have a wedding episode or like at least an episode predominantly based around Venus and Zane's wedding uh, I don't think we're gonna do anything fancy in terms of bringing Zane back to life I do honestly think that I'm just gonna uh, but a little bit about words get his ghost join the household and then I'm going to go into MC command center bring him back uh, to life and just sort of go from there because at this point it's been so long it's been talked about for such a long time it's just kind of null and void I just want to get it done with I want Venus to have her happy little ending without having to have any more children you know and I know it's been a couple of years now with Venus which is just it's just it's not good enough <laughs> And it's even been like a few months already with Audrina and still she has only popped out two kids and that was from one pregnancy. So that's not great either. So I am, I know I keep saying that I'm trying to put out more content for you guys, but especially recently my other channel just got monetized and I had a lot of things going on in real life and then I had a big trip out to see my family three and a half hours away. And it's just like my life has been a lot and I've also sort of maybe come to the conclusion recently that I may have to ask my doctor about checking if I have POTS because I feel like if it was brought on by anemia, considering I pretty much always have low iron, I'm, I don't know, like, because I don't, I don't take care of myself, okay? I'm not even going to lie about it. I really don't uh, because of reasons. <laughs> if you guys have been around since the end of 2020 you may know my mum passed away my iron actually the day after my mum passed away I got the phone call from my doctor to say congratulations your iron's in a really good uh, at a really good level now just keep doing what you're doing and then as you can imagine I told the doctor well actually just found out my mum died uh so yeah we'll see and I haven't been monitoring it which is not great and <laughs> I do need to talk to the doctor about that because I don't I don't want my body to fall into disrepair <laughs> I really do need to take care of it and I mean you know maybe getting my iron levels checked again maybe getting back on the iron supplements and trying to take care of myself at least 
in that sense, you know, maybe that's a start. Oh my gosh, with these shelves, let me freaking tell you, I was so annoyed by it. The fact that I couldn't get them centered I was going to do two levels, but then we just went back to one because I just, I just could not deal. There's still so much back and forth in this. You know, I'm really sorry if any of y'all are like getting dizzy from this. And if the grids annoy you uh, in build mode, I'm sorry, but I actually literally cannot live without the grids. So there's also that. So I need to get on top of my health. I need to, you know, hmm, because I used to be able to film a video every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then get videos out every like Thursday or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Like I was able to get out so many videos per week and now I can't do that. And I still have my other channel at that point too. So I don't know exactly went wrong there, but I do think that a lot of it is due to my mental health and my physical health being that I will sometimes even sleep eight and a half, nine hours at nighttime. And then I still need to go back to bed for another six hours after being awake and like having a coffee and having food and everything. I will still go back to bed and I will sleep until nighttime again. That, that, that's just me. I, I don't know what it is, but I, I obviously do have to go ahead and talk to my doctor about it. I don't honestly think that it's depression because I've also been on antidepressants for quite some time now and it just feels different. Like I know, I know what, when I get bad, I know what it feels like. And I don't think that's what this is. I do feel like it is an underlying health issue. Like I said before, for example, POTS, but I don't want to self-diagnose, obviously. So that's what I'm going to bring up to my doctor. And if it comes out negative, cool. That's something we can cancel out. Move on to the next thing. Uh, okay, so we're sort of getting closer to the end now, sort of-ish. Uh, I mean, listen, we're like at the 10 minute point, the, the 11 minute point. So there's still like another minute or two. But here I was just trying to figure out like decorations essentially and that painting I did just put up on the wall. Ended up getting rid of that actually, which is really funny. But I was just kind of going through everything that was pink and what I felt like was kind of Venus's vibe. And I was trying to sneak in a little bit of mint here and there because Venus was very into pink and mint and also little hints of like yellow here and there. So she wasn't just totally pink, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, I was also, how many days ago did I do this? I feel like I did this a few days ago. There's the mint though that I was talking about and there's also some like hints of mint on that bedspread and everything like that which I really liked and yeah so as you can see I did just go ahead and I mean I tried to find something else to put on that wall but I just could not find anything. Everything was just trash. Just utter trash or chaos or I don't know. I am utter trash and chaos. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me. It's SBC. I need a drink. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. But yeah, essentially, that's it. That's the whole build. And then here are some before and after photos. I didn't do the exact uh, angles, but as you can see now, we basically like our backyard has been taken over with this little granny flat and I'm really super happy with it. But you guys will have to let me know what you think. And this is the last little after photo here. And then let's get back into the video. But yeah, as I was saying, you guys will have to let me know what you think about the little granny flat. Right now, it's literally just game. Please, not, not this already. As you can see, it's empty because it is technically a rental lot on our, uh, on our lot right now. What am I trying to say? <laughs> It's a rental property on our lot right now. So Audrina is just taking care of the twins. Oh, right. Do you know what I also just realized is that I think I had to stop at this point because it was actually, oh, wrong button. I think it actually said that it was the twins birthday. Yeah, yeah, unit rating nightly starts for work. School, sorry, that's fine. Four days ago is when I filmed that little speed reno, whatever you want to call it. So, I mean, four days ago from like when I'm filming this right now. And let's be real, I, this probably won't get edited for like a month after I film it because that's just how I've been recently. But yeah, okay, sweet. So it is Justin and Jody's birthday. It's more than a month ago. That's, it's just ridiculous. Like I am ridiculous, but you know, I just, I need to, I just need to try to pull through and do as best as I can. So after you've fed that baby, could you please just go ahead and let's age up little Miss Jody, And then of course, we're going to do the exact same thing for little Justin, baby care and age up. If you wouldn't mind my little dude. Wait, 
oh my gosh, you're just going to completely ignore Jody and you're going to age up Justin. Or, wait, 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 wait. Can you please age her up? No, she literally aged up Justin first. I think she has a favorite. <laughs> so Justin, he's going to be a calm baby. Oh my goodness gracious. That's so cute. And I also really like that little bunny rabbit uh, hat that he's got on. That is so cute. Honestly, so, so cute. So now that these two are infants, it's going to be easier for me to... Oh, wriggly worm, a little wiggly worm. Uh, it's going to be easier for me to get a thumbnail for the next... For this episode. Yeah, no, for this episode. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. And they've both come out of their bassinets quite literally smiling. So we love that. And there's a nappy on the floor that is absolutely disgusting. This entire house is absolutely disgusting. We need to, like, throw this out. Wait, wait, wait. Can we scavenge for parts first? Oh, Paul, what are you calling us about? No, I'm sorry. Maybe we're going to have to invite him over and be like, hey, let's, like, hey, we already did that. Oh, yeah, wow. So why are you asking out us on a... Sorry, wow, words. Asking us out on a date if we literally asked you to be friends already. So, oh, that was that guy that didn't want anything to do with us. Let's just ignore that. Oh, my sweets, you do also have to eat some food. There's food on the floor. How about you go ahead and eat that? Okay, sweet. Oh, wait. Oh, what was I doing? So, Venus, could you please come over here and scavenge for parts just real quick? All right, sweet. We could also totally go into... Wait, what? Break in? Nobody even lives there. Why would you need to break in? I was thinking of going there. Yeah, travel to the unit to, like, do maintenance and whatnot. Uh, we're going to have to do it with Venus for right now because she is our um, our handy gal. Let's see where your handiness is at, my girl. Where is it? Hello? Oh my gosh, it's right there. I'm looking for, like, one of these ones that's not maxed out. But she literally does have level 10 handiness, which is absolutely phenomenal. So let's just throw you out and... Alrighty, so yeah, well I'm gonna do I'm gonna do just that. So let's go and travel to the unit. Now you are at school, so let's have you listen to the teacher. We need to try to get him moved out today if we can. If he gets an A grade today, then that's fantastic. We can get him at least to be a teenager. And because it's Tuesday, we honestly might be able to get him out today. Oh, wrong wrong thing. I didn't want to click on that. Let's I'm trying to see Okay, so you're not even in your second trimester yet. So that's absolutely fantastic. Your blah, blah, blah arrived. Is it supposed to smell like this? Oh my gosh, girl, I can relate to that because uh, I got something in the mail the other day that I bought off eBay and it legitimately smelled like, I don't know how to explain it, but essentially like washing detergent, but like it had been sitting in washing detergent for days and hadn't dried out properly. And I don't know, I just really hope that the thing that I bought is not like completely moldy on the inside because I would quite literally cry my gosh darn eyes out. So anyway, what on earth? Oh my gosh, you, Knightley, what the hell? No, Knightley, what the heck? Why did it do that? Why did it, why did it bring you home from school? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm going to, I'm going to freak out. I'm going to literally freak out. Uh, Oh my, mm, I'm really severely annoyed right now. Why would it do that? Why can't you upgrade the bed? Are you serious? Like what? Oh, let's also set sink types in here as well. Let's go upgrade to self-cleaning and uh, this one. And then what's the other one that's good? Sturdy faucets. Yeah, that's great. And then we'll set this sink to, yep, yeah, kitchen suite. Oh, oh wait, yeah, because I literally moved it from inside the house didn't I oh my gosh I totally didn't do anything with over there either oh wow that's something I'm gonna have to fix as well my bad but you know what that's fine everything should be just fine are you going into the little granny flat or like what's happening my guy Venus hello okay could you actually just like go home I don't know why he came home from school I'm I'm so perplexed I'm annoyed perplexed and just I don't even know I literally just don't even know oh wow this didn't have any of the upgrades either oh boy okay Venus has got her work cut out for her today just you wait Zane because when we get to move into this little house it's gonna be your dream come true not really it's really uh it's honestly Venus's dream come true but also she needs to be so close to all of her family because otherwise she would just be way too sad and not be able to live her life and that rug is supposed to be on top of this rug but I mean sure thing chicken wing not me spending the whole day at the rental unit rather than being at home where the babies are <laughs> I just I 
couldn't be bothered, you guys. I mean, you should be at school and it's really annoying me that you're not. I don't know why we can't have the option to go back to school, but I digress. You know, I just, I don't know, everyone can just go ahead and take care of themselves today. Now who has passed away? Brittany Greenberg. Greenberg, okay, that's kind of sad. I think that was potentially a uh, grandchild? I don't know. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Oh, and we're heading on over to the kitchen now. The kimchin with the chimkin. I really like this little living room sort of situation. I don't know. It's just cute. And this little, like... Uh, Lammies piled on top of one another. It's so super duper cute. But yeah, so this is the apartment, by the way. What, you have 24 hours to pay your bills before your power is shut off? Okay, well, can we do that from this particular... No, we can't. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you absolutely choking my chain? We cannot even afford our bills. That is really not great. <laughs> We're gonna have to get on that money grind. Anyway, as I was saying, this is the little apartment. I know I keep saying apartment when it's like a granny flat, but like, I don't know. I, you guys know what I mean. Let's put the walls and ceiling up. So we have this cute little entry section here. Very nice. I don't know what's with those crates, but they're in the catalog, so I decided to use them. Uh, oh shoot, I haven't done anything with the roof or anything like that, but we have this sweet little dining area. And of course we have a bar. We moved the bar from inside the main house out here so that Venus can do whatever she wants with that. And then we have this sweet little living area, which I just really like. And that's about it for out here. And then if we go into this cute little hallway, through here is actually the bathroom. The light might not be on. Oh, no, it's on. Sweet. On sweet, lol. That's funny. So here is the little bathroom. It's not much, but it's home. And then in here, of course, we have the bedroom. And it is very Venus, although it could definitely do with a bit more decoration. Like, I'm not even going to lie about it. But yeah, essentially, that is the entire little granny flat. And I hope you guys think that... It is perfectly suited for Miss Venus because I certainly do. And it's a much better use of the space rather than having a swimming pool that we literally never went inside of. I need to like figure out a little section to go here or maybe even I was thinking we could potentially move this little quote unquote garage shed little thing. It's not really a garage, it's more like a shed over to here instead having the access to the basement be over there. I'm sorry oh my gosh wait no because she's in the other house right now i thought i thought that all of our baby daddy uh, walls of like pictures and stuff like that was gone oh my lanta <laughs> oh shoot you should also probably use some of the facilities just while we're here i doubt there'll be any food in here yeah no maybe we'll just wait till we get home to actually feed you so then maybe just go ahead and take a quick little shower after that as well and then can i just maybe like switch controls much easier than just traveling back because what if I break the game and then Venus could you just like come back I'm not sure if I meant to buy this but I don't hate it okay <laughs> I don't really like that response I feel like it's very rude oh you and you know because you just like didn't go to school go ahead and do some homework okay and then we'll also have you work on a project because I'm not having this I'm just not just go and assist with like all of these projects oh wait no no don't put in your inventory holy moly work carefully uh, assist and oh my goodness and then assist and oh you can't do anything else that's fine look at Audrina being a mum are you joking what a good little googie egg oh my goodness what's this what do you very uh poser from the celebrity home trait oh my gosh okay lol baby's here yeah yeah and then oh okay we've just got into our second trimester so how's the belly looking oh like a beautiful pregnant belly. I love it. Oh yeah, Audrina, come over here. I want to show everyone the bathroom. Also, wow, I cannot believe I missed one of the little toilet rugs. That is so my bad. Let me just fix that before anyone notices. Anyway, nothing happened. I don't know what you're talking about. This is when she comes in here. I'm going to show you guys Audrina's bedroom. So here we go. Pause, 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 pause. I am getting all of my buttons wrong. Oh, my lanta. I don't know what I'm doing here. 
There we go. This is the bedroom. I really need to like do the ceilings in this house, honestly. And that, uh, yeah, so this is, this is it. I'm sorry if this is like making anybody dizzy. It's low key making me really dizzy. There's not much decoration just yet because we don't really know too much about Audrina just yet. But here we are. It's essentially the same as what her mom had. But as I said before, with uh, blue instead of pink. And here's the little overview. Now, I was talking about something earlier. Oh, yeah. So I've like completely gutted this room here. And I don't really know what we're going to do with it now. I was thinking maybe we could have like a little kids play section and maybe even like knock down that wall there and just kind of like block it off here and then block it off there with like those little kid fences or something. I don't know, like, and we could have some of these things in there. I don't know. I, there, there's so many options. I just, we didn't use this little kitchen, so there was just no point in having it there. But yeah, everything is really blue now. I'll just do like a quick little once over of the house. This was the room that was going to be Venus's bedroom. Obviously, we have changed that up now, and also we're missing a curtain here. Let me just fix that before anybody notices. Nothing happened. I don't even know what you're talking about. So this is where Venus is going to be staying for now. Wait, why? Why is nothing happening? Hello? Okay, that's weird because that was already your bed, Venus. What on earth? Vivian does not have her own, like, sort of assigned room, but it's fine because she does still have the only bed in that room anyway so the kids rooms have all stayed the same essentially we've just gone ahead and changed everything that was pink to blue and that's pretty much it and there's a broken toilet venus if you wouldn't mind my lovely lady could you please come and repair that for me oh okay oh we need to resume this okay also list that on plopsy wait list what you need to list first and then resume where where are we so maybe just go ahead and resume that then wait oh my gosh you need to ship this one somebody wants to buy this one and then we can go ahead and resume and why is rick grimes calling us i'm delighted you recommended i spend some time with devon dillard i was amused the entire time good for you my dude also just so you guys know i'm not going to be trying so hard with the infants in this particular generation because there's just no point they don't work properly anyway so you know they're just gonna they're just kind of gonna live their lives and once they uh once they are gonna age up is when they're gonna age up or i don't know we'll see we'll see what happens because i'm just it's just not worth it at this point like it causes too much stress and like realistically we could even just leave the infants as infants for like one day and then we can just age them up into toddlers and then start skill grinding because it's just so silly how infants have been out for so long now and they still work just as badly as they did on day one venus wake up somebody wants to buy this go ship it ship it ship it go let's go something i've realized is that we have a lot of computers in this house that ne don't necessarily get used so i'm gonna go through and delete some of them might give us a little bit of money back we're at 5900 so if we just get rid of this one Wait, what just, what? Can you delete the computer? What on earth? Okay, I'm confused. What the hell's going on? I'm gonna undo everything I just did. Go back in there, try to get Zane off the computer and then try to do that again. Cause I really don't know what just happened. Can I just, oh, I don't want to reset you just in case something happens. Oh boy. Oh, hang on, Vivian, you're awake. Okay, could you ask Zane to just like get off the computer? Can just go friendly introduction or something. I just, uh, I need him to get off this computer. Oh, and what on earth? Hey, now it's gone. How am I supposed to delete it now to get the money? Because, <gasps> hmm. Oh, that's very annoying. If I go and delete this one, how much does it give me? Plus 242. So, I'm going to do that again, plus 242, because, oh wait, oh my gosh, undo, what did I just do? No, 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 why do we have no money now? So we had basically 5,900, right? So plus 242 plus another 242, so we should have 6,384, roughly, okay, roughly. I'm... I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I just did that. I just, I really, I really don't. I really don't know. I just have no words. That did nothing for us money-wise anyway. Oh, Justin, you poor dude. First blowout milestone. Oh, yes, she likes cooking. Oh no, who has passed away now? Belinda Vance. 
Again, no idea who that is. An early riser? Okie dokie, couldn't be me. Speaking of early risers, we have got Knightley awake for the day. And he didn't really get much done last night uh, in terms of, oh my gosh, his performance has gone down. You've got to be joking. Uh, in terms of getting those projects outside finished. Also, that was like, why did you even go and do that? when you could have just grabbed something from there. You know, it's fine. Don't even worry about it. Come over here and just assist with a project for now. Also, do you not have extra credit work that you could be doing? Do your extra credit work first and foremost, please. And then we'll uh, deal with you in a hot little second after that. And oh, Jody has also had a very first blowout. How cute, twin blowouts, lovely. Now, maybe you could get up and go and like bathe your children because they are stinky stank right now. Maybe you could like change their nappies and I don't know, just do anything for them. Vivian, my love. Oh wait, you're actually, for a second I thought she was busy, but actually go and bottle feed and then please change his nappy because he stinks. I thought that she was making the breakfast, but obviously she's not doing that anymore. And Audrina, my love, please wake up. Go and take care of your children, please. It should not be so hard. Let's have a look at that belly. I know it's going to be the exact same as it was before, but I don't care. I love a cute little belly bump, a, a, a baby bump update. Venus, okay, my love, you know what you can do is you can come over here and take a quick little piddly whittly. And then what we'll do is we'll have you come over and grab yourself some breakfast leftovers. Yum, yum, bubble gum. And then maybe we'll actually have you come and t help take care of one of these two. So that maybe Audrina can go back to sleep. She's kind of still really tired. Like, honestly. Oh, I forgot to check on this. Okay, so, oh, you know, we're never going to be able to do any of those things, you know, to be honest. They just got our thingy. Five stars. Ooh. Venus, actually, honestly, my lovely, you should be resuming this because I need you to be making us some money before you move out. Oh, is this done? No. So you need to resume that. Okay. Oh, she's going to go change the nappy over here. How cute. Or not. She's just literally going to stop. Okay. Cool freaking beans. Audrina, my darling, I think it might be all up to you today. Your children stink and uh, I think you're just going to have to deal with it all in your lonesome. The infants are actually so good right now. They just both need a bubble bath. So I'm going to try my best to get that done. Knightley is not at school yet because he was still doing his homework. So I don't like that. But, okay, you're done now, so go, go to school. Get to school, mate. Go, 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 go. Why are you not at school yet? Get going. Finally, okay, wow, I was really starting to stress there. Listen to the teacher. We really need to make sure that he does an absolutely fantabulous job today. Holy cow, one kid done. All right, all right. Maybe go ahead and actually put the baby back into this. Okay, I thought I was clicked on Audrina, clearly not. Could you just go ahead and... There's no infant there. Are you serious? Ah! Who is this? It's Jody. Oh my goodness gracious. There's literally no one there. Okay, could you please put Jody down? And where is Justin? Oh, you've got Justin. Okay, so what are you doing? Are you... Did you change his nappy? Or like, you know, you can just come over here and give him a bubble bath because he stinks and that's what he needs. So she puts him down in the little thingy-ma-bob. I... J I just mm, it's fine everything is just fine jody my love how are we doing oh you know what tried to go night night wait why can't we try to go night night oh i think maybe she's already trying to go night night she is indeed is oh thank goodness justin is getting his bath oh my lanta and there is a nice little stank nappy on the floor love to see it now when i'm finished with today's episode i'm also gonna have to try to figure out what we're doing with like this entire house i just it's a mess right now and i don't like that and we just i don't know there's so much open space there's so much room for activities but no activities to be doing in uh yeah Oh, oh, wow, rude. I'm also not going to worry about a speed uh, makeover for the twins because there's not really much to do for infants anyway. So I'm just going to give them their little makeover and then show you guys in the next episode. I hope that is okay with you guys. We might have to do the holiday bin cheat, uh, you know, rummage through so that we can sell what comes out 
how uh, blah 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 because um <laughs> we really need money our power just got shut off i don't know why you brought one of the babies in to do this but right oh boy and you've just put that stuff right on top of the child so that's that's so cool could you just like pick the kid up or can you even like get to him oh goodness gracious that was so lucky can i drag anything no okay uh venus could you please actually oh yeah she's just gonna repair the toilet could you just uh come back and do that again because we kind of really need some more that did nothing to be honest and knightley did not get his grades up that's not great. <laughs> this isn't very lucrative, so I think I might just stop for now. Uh, oh, you know what we should actually be doing is painting. So you come over here and, oh my goodness, okay, go and do a classic painting. And you, my darling, you should go and do a classic painting as well. I know it costs money in the first place, but like, that's fine, you know cost money to make money damn it she's in her third trimester and we don't have any power in the house and i can't do anything about it because we can't make any bloody money oh i'm getting so stressed out you guys she had to like stop painting whoa that's an interesting picture <laughs> she had to stop painting because she was so tired are you joking me you i don't know what you think you're doing but you should be doing a painting you're the one with the skills Oh boy, somebody wants to purchase this. Okay, that's so good, Venus. Go ahead and send that out. Send it, send it, send it. What were you doing contemplating life? Oh, how much is this? 299. I mean, not much, but like at least it's something. Uh, resume this. Why do they never resume their stupid hoops? Resume. Oh, we were sitting on stuff in here too. Well, that's the bills, obviously, but we can sell these toys at least. A whole 475 schmackaroonies. At least it's something we dang okay i was really kind of hoping that we could sell the loan that venus had but apparently we cannot and we can't even like get a loan get another loan with another member of the household in order to uh, be able to at least pay our bills so that is like so much fun i don't know what to do about it guys i'm stressed i am literally so so stressed wait a minute there's a whole ass grand piano in here. I wonder if we could sell that and maybe that will make us enough money at least to get the rent. How, for how long has there been a grand piano in here? Honestly, like, please, somebody tell me. I really need to know. How much is that going to get us? Honestly, not very much. Oh, my God. This esky, that can go away. Tool time. Okay, we don't need woodworking. What's this one? Workbench. We don't need that. Oh, I didn't realize that we already had one of those. Okay, that's nice. And then what's this one? No, no, we need the candle making. And then we don't need that. And we don't need flower arranging. Okay, so this has given us a little bit more money, but still not a lot. Okay, we'll keep the uh what did i call it the candle making station there's nothing in these so let's delete those we're never gonna use these so we'll get rid of those as well all right and listen we're never gonna use these i don't even know who was painting that we're just gonna get rid of all of them and we'll get rid of that too you know honestly at this point we just need money from wherever we can get it i'm just gonna keep doing this until we have enough money I'm, we never use this pool. Get rid of it. Uh, this table, we haven't used it for ages. Okay, guys, we're so, so close. Also, we never use this little games table. Now, all the stuff that went to our inventory, get rid of those. What is this? Totally real reindeer. Okay, no, you can go away. Wait, that is a candle. S screw it, just get rid of it. Okay, we're so close now. Do we need this fan? Actually, let's just leave that there for now. Okay, if we delete that many chairs, heck, even if we delete that many chairs, like, you know, okay, let's just also delete this chair and this chair because we just kind of need to make money wherever we can right now. Can we pay the bills? Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so just go and do those things out there that I asked you to do with the soy plants and then pay the bills for us wowzers and then you know what sell all of the soybeans too because that's money that we could be making here i always forget about the soy plant the soybean plants okay amazing is there anything else that we can do oh wait you haven't even sold them yet okay sell 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 let's get them sold hello there's more sell everything please come on chop chop on your horse all right so we don't really 
have a lot of money like let's be real but what we've got to focus on right now is getting nightly all aged up so that's fine our house is just going to keep on getting emptier and emptier as time goes by but we're just going to ignore that and uh hope and uh try as we may to just kind of get through it all right so our bills are paid we still have to have the baby we still need to age up nightly this is not the way that i wanted this episode to go but i hope that you guys appreciate another episode being put out there regardless and i'm not gonna say that i'll try to get another episode out quickly because we all know how life is but I hope that you guys are looking forward to the next episode regardless. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Also, make sure you leave me some baby name suggestions down below. And then once you've subscribed, then why not go ahead and click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I do upload a brand new video. If you guys enjoyed today's video in particular and you would like to show myself and or the channel some support, you can do so by either becoming a channel member, which will unlock access to some pretty cool perks by clicking on the like button and or by letting me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very much for watching today. And as always, you guys, until next time, bye-bye.